Okay, so how well do you actually understand basic math? Well, if you have pretty strong basic math skills, this should be a very easy question to answer without the aid of a calculator. Matter of fact, you should be able to do this using only mental mathematics. That means no calculator, no paper, no pencil, no nothing. In other words, you're going to do this all in your head. Now, the question is as follows. Is 4014 divisible by 3? Now, this is a multiple choice question, and our choices are A, yes it is, B, no it is not, or C, maybe you're just not sure. All right, so once again, the only uh, rules here is no calculator, no pencil, no paper, no nothing. You're going to use mental mathematics only. But if you have the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to answer this question using only mental mathematics. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's take one more look at the problem. So uh, we have, is 4,014 divisible by 3? Now, if you don't know what this word divisible means, maybe you're kind of saying, maybe it has something to do with division, and indeed you would be right. But uh, even if you're not sure, you still have a good chance of guessing and getting this thing right. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is A. Yes, it is. All right, now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and A plus, A 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert in the area of divisibility rules if indeed you only use mental math, right? So, of course, anyone can get their calculator and just type in 4014 and divide it by 3 and look at the answer. But uh, if you're not sure what this word means, even uh, then, uh, this can be confusing. So hopefully you understand the word divisible because this is an important uh, math word. But uh, for those of you that are a bit confused, no big deal. This is very easy. And uh, let's get into this right now. All right, so here is our problem. And uh, we really can't solve the problem or answer the question unless we understand this word right here, divisible. What does this mean? Okay. Well, if you're like, hey, does it have something to do with division, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Indeed, it does. So let's go ahead and define what divisible means, and then we'll get back to the question. So uh, a number is divisible by another number if when you divide uh, a number, okay, by another number, okay, the remainder is zero. Now that was kind of confusing, right? So let's answer this question. Is eight divisible by two? All right, so this would be the question. Is eight divisible by two? Well, it is, right? Eight is divisible by two. Uh, if when we take eight and we divide by two, the remainder is equal to zero. So we're looking at the remainder, right? So in other words, uh, uh, eight, uh, two goes into eight evenly, all right? So effectively, uh, if there is no remainder, then it means this number is div uh, this number is divisible by this number. All right, so that's basically what divisibility uh, means, and uh, hopefully that wasn't that confusing. Uh, let's take a look at some other examples here before we actually do our problem. So is 21 divisible by 3? So using mental math, someone might be saying, hey, I know what to do, Mr. YouTube Math Man. I'm going to do this in my brain. Uh, 21, uh, can I take 21 to divide it by 3 without having a remainder? And some of you might say, let me see here, uh, 21, uh, 7 times 3 is 21. Yes, indeed. Uh, so 21, uh, we can take 21 and divide it by 3. It's 7. And again, you're looking at the remainder. There is no remainder. So is 21 divisible by 3? The answer is yes. Now, uh, this person right here is very proud of themselves because they were able to do this problem, you know, using mental math. Maybe they kind of envisioned this, uh, you know, kind of scenario, or they just kind of knew, hey, 7 times 3 is 21. There is no fraction. There is no remainder. So that is fantastic. But we're going to have a tough time kind of using mental mathematics to figure this out because we're dealing with a pretty large number. So what can we do? Well, there is something... Uh, totally awesome here that we can do. But uh, let's go ahead and think about the problem this way. All right, so is 4,014 divisible by 3? Hopefully, uh, you know, uh, some of you out there are saying, 
All right, I understand what divisibility uh, means, Mr. YouTube Math Man, but are you serious? You really want me to kind of run through this all in my brain, try to do this uh, math and uh, see what the remainder is? Well, if you're able to do this, that is fantastic. You are certainly a math prodigy. But uh, this is what we're not talking. <laughs> we're not talking about doing this. Now, if you were thinking in these terms, well, at least you're thinking in terms of looking at the remainder. But uh, no one's going to do all this work to figure this out. There is a much, much easier way to uh, answer the question, okay? Because the question is specifically dealing, uh, dealing with, excuse me, the divisibility of a number by three, okay? Is this number divisible by three? So let's go ahead and take a look at a super awesome thing that everybody needs to understand, and that is uh, divisibility rules. Now, there is various divisibility rules, uh, whether a number is divisible by 3, divisible by 2, divisible by 5, on and on and on. But uh, one of the most uh, practical, one of the most uh, the ones that comes in really handy is uh, divisibility by three. Again, there's other divisibility rules, and I'll give you some suggestions on uh, where you can learn the other ones, but we haven't even explained the divisibility by three rule right now. Okay, so there is a rule. There's a little thing that we can do to test to see if a number is divisible by three, and that's all um, uh, comes down to looking at the digits of the number. So let's take 21. We already know that 21 is divisible by 3 because when we take 21 and we divide it by 3, we get 7 with remainder equals 0. Again, by definition, that's what it means to be divisible. But here is something totally awesome, okay? And that is, here is our number, 21. If we break the number up into its digits, okay, the digits of 21, the first digit is 2, the second digit is 1, okay? If we add the digits, okay, so here, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 is what? It's 3. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, look at the sum of the digits of this number, all right? So in this case, 21, 2 plus 1 is 3. All we have to do is determine whether this number is divisible by 3. If the sum of the digits of a number is um, divisible by 3, and then the entire number is divisible by 3. So let me ask you, uh, is 3 divisible by 3? Well, hopefully you're saying, of course, Mr. YouTube Math Man, 3 divided by 3 is 1, remainder is equal to 0. All right, so basically that is what you need to know in order to answer this question. Remember, we're only doing mental math, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is quickly subscribing to my YouTube channel before we show you, uh, before I show you this divisibility rule by 3 on our original problem. Now, uh, math is one of these things that there is a huge amount to know, okay? Whether it's basic math, you know, uh, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, pre-calculus, I mean, you go on and on and on. And if you want to learn all this math, you got to kind of do this in order. In other words, you got to strengthen your foundation and uh, you're really make sure you got the basics down. Now, a lot of people, uh, they're, they're like, they don't want to be bothered with that. They're like, no, nah, yeah, I must do two math, and I'm good with fractions. I know order of operations of decimals and positive and negative numbers. I'm going to tell you right now, 90% of math errors come from those basic concepts, even from students uh, like in Algebra 2, uh, trigonometry, geometry, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. How would I know that? Because I've been doing this for decades. I probably graded maybe 10 million quizzes and homework. Well, maybe not that many, but you get the idea. I've seen the trends. So even the best students, okay, in uh, very advanced math courses, still tend to make basic math errors because they're in a rush and they get, uh, you know, basically a little loose with. Uh, their academic habits, which is, of course, you want to be neat, structured, and just take your time. So, you know, if you truly wanted to learn math and be great at math, start with the basics, and that means start with uh, good habits, okay, being neat, being organized, and really mastering all the concepts, okay, in order. If you do that, math will be an interesting and successful journey. So, if you need additional help, in anything mathematics, check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And if you want to learn more about divisibility rules, check out my Math Foundations course. It's a little three-chapter mini course. It reviews all of this basic math stuff, decimals, fractions, order of operations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if you want to take it a step further, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. All right, so let's get back to this problem here because, again, we are only talking about mental math. So what you want to do assuming you understand the divisibility rule for three, is focus in 
on the number. You got 4014, and you want to look at the digits of the number. You're like, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm going to take these digits, and in my brain, I'm going to add them up, right? So you got 4 plus 0 plus 1 plus 4. I'm pretty sure all of you can handle this simple problem. So we got 4, 1, and 4. The answer is 9. So is 9 divisible by 3? Well, of course it is, right? So 9 divided by 3 is 3, remainder is 0. So this entire number here, uh, 4014 is divisible by 3. And uh, again, this is why, you know, knowing these little things like the visibility rules, you know, all this stuff that, um, you know, what's taught to you, you probably don't remember. Uh, like for me, you know, I was taking this math way back in like 1977 or 76. I don't know, it was a long time ago. But I'm pretty sure my math teachers uh, back then were teaching me the divisibility rules. Did I totally forget this stuff? Of course I did. Okay, so no one's expecting you to remember this, but if you are immersed in mathematics and if you truly want to relearn math and get, you know, back into it again, uh, you're going to want to kind of re-familiarize yourself with all these little, small, little things can uh, can uh, really, truly help you out to make a complicated problem very easy. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.